Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'm going to be talking about Ubuntu Touch and the recently released OTA 21. It looks like there's a lot more devices more officially supported, and it was interesting to see the OnePlus 6 and the OnePlus 6T listed here because that is a phone I've covered before and have an installation video on that. So it looks like the support for it has gotten better and better. And of course you can see a list of other devices. The OnePlus 6 and 6T seem to be the, the devices with the most power. Another point of note here is that Ubuntu Touch is still based on Ubuntu 16.04. They've been working on trying to port Ubuntu Touch to a more recent version of Ubuntu, but it takes a lot of work and when it was ported to 16.04, there were a lot of regressions, so I personally don't mind that it's still based on Ubuntu 16.04 because in my experience, Ubuntu Touch is probably still the most stable OS out there. So I feel like they don't really need to be in such a hurry to get it updated to a later version. Some minor fixes here, but one interesting one is microphone access in the Morph browser, which is the browser that comes pre-installed with Ubuntu Touch. Looks like microphone access is supported now. And that's going to help people use the browser to make phone calls. Here's the key thing, especially with supporting the OnePlus phones. Typically when a device is officially supported, you can easily install it using the UbiPorts installer. But if you're working with the OnePlus 6 or 6T, you're still going to have to downgrade your Android to version 9. Because if you're using the latest version of OnePlus 6 and 6T, you're likely going to be using Android Android 10 or even Android 11. So my previous video might still be helpful for that. You can see here if it has a favorite on them, it means that it's considered a top choice device and it has commercial maintainers and orders with a good track record. So if we go to the OnePlus 6 and 6T here as an example, there's a lot of green check marks here. The only thing not working is fingerprint reader and wireless external monitor support. Seems that offline charging, which I'm thinking they mean wireless charging, works partially and same with thing with using the phone as a hotspot. So again, I think those features are not critical for like the average user. And I may be testing that device soon, but for now, I'm on an older version of Ubuntu Touch for the OnePlus 6T, although it still works a lot in many ways. Like here, you can see me playing this uh, Tux game here. And it looks really nice with the device's OLED screen here. But again, if you scroll down here, you're going to have to update or downgrade your device to Android 9. And that is at least until they get Holium 10.0 out, which will allow you to install Ubuntu Touch even if your device is on Android 10. One other thing to note is that the main website for UbiPorts has been updated and it looks really good. And like I said, Ubuntu Touch is by far the most stable Linux mobile smartphone out there. It's even got a top-notch software center with plenty of apps being released all the time here. The other cool thing about Ubuntu Touch is that it is probably the OS that seems to work on more devices, especially newer, more powerful Android devices, and even some new ones, you know, we've seen Companies release the Volo phone, the FX phone with Ubuntu Touch support, and the Pair phone. And I'm hoping to do more testing maybe with some new phones. But let me know your thoughts. What do you think of UbiPorts and Ubuntu Touch? How do you like it compared to Bosch based or Plasma based mobile operating systems? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like my video, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. If you're enjoying my video, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, PeerTube, follow me on Odyssey. You could also support me on LibraPay, Patreon, and by shopping at Earth Hero. See links in the description below.